Communicating and connecting with online students is part of the video series by Virtual Campus Teachers on Effective Blended Learning Practices. What are some of the ways you use to communicate and connect with your students? Self-paced or SP students access their online course of study through our learning management system, which allows them to move through the curriculum independently, but with guided pacing and the support of a teacher who monitors and regularly communicates with them. There are many tools that I use to keep in touch with SP students in between our live instructional times. Email, Google Chat, Google Checklists, Google Docs, which I use as minutes for our live times together, Google Calendar invitations, as well as the announcements tool in our learning management system or LMS. I typically use the announcements tool to communicate changes or reminders for the class as a whole. The other tools are used for students one-on-one -on -one or in a small group setting. How do you make sure that students are on track? Students are asked to fill in Google checklists on a regular basis to update us on their progress throughout the week's work. We encourage them to update the checklist every time that they sit down to work on the course. This allows us, the teaching team, to see what progress they are making in between our live instructional times. Ideally, Students are working on week 13's work, for example, during week 13, but sometimes there are adjustments that need to be made. If a student falls behind, we usually agree on a plan for what work should be accomplished in the next week. That would be something that gets discussed in the instructional time and recorded in the Google Minutes to revisit in the following week. If students are several weeks behind, school contacts are informed and extra supports are put in place to help get them back on track. How do you share monthly, weekly, and daily information and expectations? As I said on the previous slide, our learning management system is organized in such a way that SP students who are on track in the course can clearly see what work they are expected to accomplish each week. There are no daily expectations since students can flex their time within each week. Some students work a little each day on the course material and some combine their efforts into two or three days per week. Personal adjustments for students who are not on track are communicated during the live instructional times. Here is a sample of a monthly calendar that I put together for my SP chemistry students to give them a sense of what major tasks they will be working on and upcoming deadlines. Notice that the week numbers are indicated here to help students identify what week of material they should be on at any given time. Within the week, it is a suggested pacing. So that is recommendations in terms of what days they can work on things. But as I mentioned previously, there's a lot of flexibility within each week's work. If a student is on track, they will know exactly what material they need to cover in a given week because the course content is chunked up by week. Weekly expectations are also outlined in the Google Form checklist for the week. An example of that is on the left. If a student is behind or is not following our identified pacing, they will rely more on our live instructional time and the Google Doc Minutes to track their weekly expectations. An example of the Minutes document is on the right. <laughs> 